<laughs> okay, yeah, that's right. This is the back half of Pumbaa and Lion King. That's right. When they originally, uh, Disney originally created Pumbaa, they decided that the body of this animal was a little more voluptuous and round than the warthog, so they took this body and stuck a warthog's head on it. So oh. this is the back half of the Pumbaa I love the, character. I love the, um, the ears and this the, the red color that means they're equatorial African. Remember what I was talking about earlier about how colors dictates where they live. Okay. Predators are dichromatic. Yep. What I mean is you can actually pet them and hang out with the rhinos and it's oh, a pretty out. amazing experience. <laughs> wow. Oh, get out. So over in this in this in this pen here we have Fasa in the back. Each is here laying down. They must have them just finished. Yeah, they just cleaned up breakfast over here. Uh, these two are southern white rhinos. Not sure if you're all aware, but the northern white rhino just recently went extinct here yeah. in the last six months. So they're not a sing there's not a single one. There's two geriatric females left oh, that are no. way beyond bearing years, uh, oh. childbearing years. So we're just they're, they're, they're saying they're they're gone. Oh. Uh, they did save genetic material. Maybe someday science can bring them back. That remains to be seen. Okay. Records 40.4 inches. Oh my God. Wow. Hmm. What, what, what's done with the horn? They, no, really nothing. It's, uh, nothing. Uh, it's for status and it's for, um, they, they use it for currency, for dowries and things like that. Mm -hmm. The bigger the horns, the more status they have. That's mm -hmm. really what it's all about. They really don't use it for their food fires. They also take that for varieties. Oh, and is see. that true of antelopes too? Can they? Not necessarily, no. We, I only know of one that we've got that can interbreed and that's the kudu and the bongo. Mm -hmm. Oh, kudus. Do the horns oh, ever, word, when yeah. they're being manipulated to be as big as possible, do they ever interfere with the locomotion or the movement of, of the animal? Surprisingly like, enough, I've seen them come wandering down off of these hills here with all these oak trees and for the feed truck, and they just have a spatial awareness that they mm -hmm. can get around really well. When you hear them bang together when they're eating, they kind of sound like a hollow canoe sound, mm -hmm. like a like a two kayaks banging together. Mm -hmm. Shadow Stripe, that's a Damara zebra. Zebra in the equine family. Yeah. But I always like to point out that zebras are, uh, there's a lot of branches to the equine family tree. My horses are over here. Yeah. And the zebras are over here on the wild ass side of things. <laughs> <laughs> over here with the horse bulls. Yeah. The large from the small, identifying actual yeah. prey, the, an individual for preying on. Um, they also have discovered that zebras mm -hmm. can, or that predators can get eye fatigue staring okay. at zebras too long. Yes. To say that after a big snafu with my wife, that my dining room is painted that color now. <laughs> she literally made me go to the store, the paint store, eight times for samples of taupe paint. <laughs> that one's too blue. That one's too yellow. That one's too. It's all taupe. <laughs> right, got his girlfriend right there. No, no, he's a, he's a Cape Buffalo. Oh, a Buffalo, I don't see him. Uh, he's down behind here. Oh, I'm trying to stay out of his way. Oh. So the white stripes they have, we, you'll see them more pronounced than a couple other species we have in our last pasture we'll go through today. This is called disruptive camouflage. <clears throat> and it actually helps break up the outlines of their bodies. Yeah. The louder it gets, the older they get, the more hollow it gets. And this is what the girls listen for. Female Elan listen for that sound. And if it's a really loud, hollow sound like that, He's my man. Boy. He's my guy. Yes, is. Oh, that's it, the book they have. The book, a book that has codes for mental. Yeah, illnesses. well, that's just my code for yeah. who I am. <laughs> <laughs>